If you don't let women talk, he's saying, if you don't let women speak who are genuinely speaking for God, like you say you're genuinely speaking for God, then you need to get out. Paul is not repressing women, he's elevating them. People have misunderstood this. The earliest followers of Jesus included women. Were they named in the Gospels? Yes, they were. There was three Marys, one of them Jesus' mom. Actually, I think four. You know, and in fact, it was the women who saw the resurrected Jesus and told everybody. And it was the women who stayed with Jesus as he died when the men scattered. Women are elevated throughout Scripture and given places of authority and opportunities to teach and speak. But somewhere down the line, we twisted it and didn't understand what was really going on. Unless we get back to the context of what it means to them, we can't say what it means to us. We are doing a disservice to us, to God, and to Scripture. And in fact, we're just hurting people in the process. The Apostle Paul was not a woman hater. The Apostle Paul was not a chauvinist. In fact, he was incredibly loving and caring and elevated women to a status and place they regularly did not have in their culture. He was the exact opposite as how many of you have thought of him. So what do you do when you read the Apostle Paul? Well, what you should do is when you read something you disagree with or you read something that maybe irks you a little, is you should go, what does that mean? What does that mean to that first audience? And once you figure out what that means to them, what does that mean for me? Maybe there are principles there that are timeless. Or maybe there's just a statement that was very timely and it was just for them. We need to be careful not to just excuse things and say, well, it was then, this is now, because there's stuff we can learn there. Like we can learn that we should not worship other gods like those women in Ephesus did and come into church pretending like we know what we're talking about with, about God when we actually don't know anything. And we should learn that we should allow women to speak in church as Paul is actually teaching in these statements. Those are timeless. The timely portion is maybe how they're addressing because they're dealing with specific things. And maybe we don't need to hold on to those things. Scripture was not written to us, but it's for our use. And we have access to God, the Holy Spirit, who has inspired people through centuries to write Scripture, the story of God and his people, the reminder of the relationship we have with him, other people, and his creation. So when we read the Apostle Paul or we read anything in the New Testament or even Old Testament, we need to first understand what it meant to the audience they were writing to. And until we do that, do not draw conclusions and do not decide what they're saying, but let them speak in their original context in their audience at their time. Mm -hmm.